tracker, right? Just the regular tracking node, press enter. And I also have my tracker node put up here in my toolbar so I could just drag it down here into my flow line, but we don't need two, we only need one. What you wanna do is in your tracker node, take your little tracking panel right here and put it over the thing that you wanna take out. In this case, it's this fire sprinkler, right? And uh, this is IntelliTrack, so it's powered by AI. And generally, IntelliTrack is really good and it's extremely smart. Most times you just have to put it over the thing that you wanna track and it gets the idea. In this particular case, since everything is so white and it's very grayscale here, I am still gonna put the center of my tracking point over the areas of contrast here. So that's just the shadow made by the fire sprinkler. And it tracks a little bit easier that way. It just depends on the clip that you're using. It's all very context-based. So here, I'm just gonna press track forward and backward in my inspector right here. Let it do its thing. So next, what you wanna do is you wanna add a patch replace tool patch replacer right here. Press enter, take this, add it into your flow line, okay? And you're gonna see these two things pop up on screen. Well, what are these two things? These two things are basically like clone stamp in Photoshop or Lightroom if you're used to using those softwares. We're gonna resize these circles, okay? And I'm gonna put what's called the target circle because this is the target, this is where the replacement is going to go. I'm gonna put it over the, uh, the sprinkler. I'm gonna put it over the sprinkler head right here, okay? Now what you wanna do is in your tracker node, right? You wanna come up in your inspector and press this little pin button. When you click that, it pins your this specific node and all of the settings associated with that node in your inspector. So now, no matter what other nodes you load, it'll load the other node and a tracker at the same time because it's pinned. So now you can see multiple nodes and all of the effects associated with them 